Hey guys, welcome back to another week's episode. A lot of you have requested me to talk about the head unit that I've got in my Pajero. And so yeah, I'm basically just gonna show you guys today what I've got in there, the pros and the cons, and whether you should buy one or not. Awesome, let's get straight into it. Okay, the light is not really working in my favor, so I'm just quickly gonna turn the car around. I am a bit dirty, and I just serviced my car, so just don't bother about that, but it's all good. Let me turn the car around and then we'll jump straight into it. Great guys, so as you can see, it's a beautiful screen and a lot of you guys might relate to this but the stock head unit is not so good it doesn't offer a lot of features it's very basic whereas obviously this aftermarket head unit has got all the goodies and as you can see it looks pretty good as well you might also be wondering what sort of model is this now this is the isuda model now you can buy it from europe or from china a lot of these head units can like it comes from aliexpress so basically what you want to do is jump on there and then it ranges from a lot of prices so it can start from like just over a hundred bucks to all the way up to 500 almost 600 dollars it really depends what sort of spec model you get and i reckon this one works pretty well it's not laggy at all some people complain that it is laggy from other head units but definitely if you're going to consider getting a head unit I highly recommend getting a model with the highest specs. So this one has like six gigabytes of RAM and 128 gigabytes of like storage, um, which is great. So that means it has a smarter computer essentially. So it's gonna be faster and it's very responsive as well. So that's very good. Sweet, so let's talk about the head unit itself. So obviously you can see it's very sleek and it's also got like uh, low volume, high volume, back, home, like back and then home again and then you can obviously turn it off as well um, or mute it. Oh, that's the mute button. Never mind. It's also got a built-in microphone so that's pretty cool. When you're taking calls you can talk through Bluetooth and then also if you probably hold it in it's going to reset. There you go. Um, so yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, I like the design. I think it's a very good size as well. It's not too big. It's not too small, but yeah, it's very good and there you go And another thing if you turn on the lights Look at that. It's gonna go on. You can also change the color, which is good and Yeah, I just like that feature. So yeah, let's get into what the things I like about this head unit and also the thing that I don't like about it Alrighty, so one of the first questions you might have is does it do Android Auto? Or Apple CarPlay and yes it does but with Android Auto you get like a USB plug so you need to plug it in there and then you use the app T-Link so that will be used to connect your phone to the unit but with Apple CarPlay that's wireless which is pretty cool and that's also like a GPS tracker um, which is cool because then that actually shows your speed while you're driving and so that's pretty nice and then obviously your FM radio but yeah to be honest I don't really even use Android Auto because I've got an Android um, smartphone I pretty much just use it as a Wi-Fi hotspot because essentially this unit is like a tablet all right so you can just connect it to your phone's hotspot so as you can see it's connected to my um, Wi-Fi at home at the moment and then basically you can use whatever you want so you can download Waze, which is great. So you can just do maps and then that's your radio. And then um, you can use Bluetooth. So then you can connect it to your um, phone there. So that's pretty cool. And then just skip through it. And the only thing basically with this way is you can't see which song is next with, and with Apple CarPlay. Well, actually, if you just use the app Apple Music, then oh, I've got to sign in. But then you can just flick through the music, what you want to use and which song you want to play. Another thing is it comes with a dash cam. So I'm pretty sure this is optional extra, um, but as you can see, it's pretty good quality. And that's what the unit looks like. And then another thing, you can basically download any app on here. 
um, because it comes with the Play Store over here. So um, that's pretty cool. Then you can just you know log in into everything, uh, which is great, and then download any app you want. A lot of people might be interested in this OBD app. So if you have a OBD scanner, you can just connect it to this Talk Pro app. But I just use the Ultra Gauge instead. Uh, in my opinion, that's the best one. And then, yeah, you can also watch YouTube. So that's pretty cool. Thank you so much as well. I'm over a thousand subscribers, guys. So that's really cool. I really appreciate everyone's, um, you know, feedback and comments and everyone's support. So thank you so much for that. Uh, but yeah, so there you can see the quality as well. Sorry, let me just go back again. And the quality is pretty good. There you go. Um, so yeah, very happy with that. It's like a full HD screen. Um, so that is pretty cool. And there you go, you probably know that guy. Um, Alright, so what else is there to do? Um, steering wheel so you can connect your settings to your steering so you can use basically the buttons up and down like the, I use this to skip the songs mode is to flick through the applications and obviously higher volume low volume um, but you can change everything there which is pretty cool as I mentioned it's got a built-in mic but you can actually at the back connect it to an additional mic which I ran to there um, so there you can see that's like my additional mic. It doesn't look bad. It's just it's just there, but you can put it there if you really want to or wherever. And then another cool thing about this, it comes with a rear camera. I believe that's extra, but you can get that as well. But the only thing I don't like about this edge unit is this at the moment. Um, so there's no video signal. I tried to fool around with the wires, but I think it's the actual camera that's cactus because it used to work and then suddenly it just died and it never came on again. So yeah, I would definitely recommend maybe getting the dash cam because that's good to have, but I wouldn't bother getting the rear view camera. Maybe just buy one that's Australian made because yeah, I don't think the Chinese stuff will keep up with Australian conditions if that makes sense. So maybe just get something a bit more rugged. But yeah, apart from that, it's pretty good. Um, you can change like your music settings as well. And you can go through Facebook. So that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, so yeah, guys, you can pretty much just download whatever you want to. Um, to be honest, I don't use Android Auto. I just mobile hotspot to my phone. And then I just tap to Bluetooth. And then it just plays through there. Um, and then I just whack on maps. And then I drive. Uh, so that's pretty cool. It's very easy to use. Uh, it's not laggy at all. If you're gonna go for a model, I highly recommend getting one that has a lot of RAM and also over 128 ROM or storage data um, because some people do complain about the units being slow. Essentially, they're all the same. It's just a different brand. Um, but yeah, I'm very happy with mine. And yeah, it's only the camera that needs to be sorted and then it's pretty much just good to go. And yeah, I'm pretty happy. You can also see the battery voltage, which is pretty cool. So 12.1, which is pretty much accurate with that one saying 12. Um, so that's pretty cool. Uh, so yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. You can change like the dates as well. You can change the theme, just tap on that. And then as you can see, oh, it just needs an update, whatever. But yeah, look at all these themes. They are pretty cool. You can use the dream one as well. Like, look at that. That looks pretty, pretty cool. Um, so yeah, that's also very good. Maldives, so look at that. Oh, okay, that didn't work. Oh, there you go. Um, so there you go, guys. So as you can see, that's pretty cool. That's pretty epic. Like, look at this one. That's pretty cool, eh? So yeah, you can basically just use everything and download your own themes to what you like. Great guys, so there you have it. This was just a short video to show you basically everything that the head unit can do. If you have any questions, make sure to drop it down in the comments and I'll answer each and every one of them. But yeah guys, basically just go on AliExpress, type in Pajero head unit, just search for them, pick the one with the highest end model, if you can afford it, of course, because this is a budget option. You can always go and buy a Sony head unit, but it's obviously gonna be you know more expensive. But yeah, I just don't think it's really worth it. Just get one of these because it's very customizable. You can 
push your own theme on there, which is pretty cool. And it's got Android Auto, you know, all that sort of stuff. So that's pretty nice. Definitely what I would recommend if you get a hit unit, make sure to get the front um, like dash cam because that's pretty cool. You can, you know, dash cams always, always say if there's like an accident, you can film everything and then don't worry about the rear facing camera. I would rather get the unit and then go and buy a local camera that's i don't know a bit more rugged because mine is not so great and as you can see it's already a bit rusty and there you guys thanks for watching make sure to like subscribe on our channel and thanks for supporting it have a good one see you guys bye